Hey guys, I'm Jenna from Publicify, and in this video, we're going over six tips you need to know to improve your live performance and stage presence to better connect with your audience as a band or musician. Let's get started. The first tip is to stop being so self-deprecating on stage. Let's set the scene here. You're at a gig and a band is about to start their set. When they go on stage, they look meek and unconfident. They introduce their first song, but mention that it's brand new and will probably suck. The song turns out great, but the energy is kind of dead now with that negative sentiment they started off with. Then throughout the set, they just keep going with one self-deprecating comment after another. My voice sucks today, or I'm sure the next band will be much better. The crowd is now officially feeling very awkward, and they won't be able to fully enjoy the music, even if you're really, really good. This happens all the time, and it's killing your stage presence. I completely understand that it can be a result of stage anxiety, that you don't mean to go on stage and be so self-deprecating, but that's just what you naturally say when you're so nervous in front of that crowd. But you need to act like you're doing the audience a favor by performing for them. They came to watch you and you need to present yourself in a way that makes them feel like that was a good decision. Let's move on to tip number two, which is a method that will help you avoid getting that crippling stage anxiety. Do a pre-show ritual meant to hype you up and shake off the nerves. Athletes have pre-game rituals that shift them into the right mindset to perform at their peak. As a musician, you should have similar rituals too. Meditation is really good for calming your nerves and bringing you to the present moment. Find a quiet space backstage and do a 10 minute meditation session using an app like Headspace or Calm. I also find that visualizing an event going well before it happens can really help you out too. Olympic gymnast Sean Johnson mentioned in a video once that every night while laying in bed, she would visualize herself doing her routine at the Olympics perfectly from start to finish. She ended up winning gold. If you have a big gig coming up, try running through your set in your head. Visualize the audience's excited reactions. Picture yourself hitting every note perfectly. It may just help you replicate it on the big day. And finally, right before you go on stage, try some quick confidence boosting techniques to get your energy high, like jogging on the spot or shadow boxing with the air. If you're feeling energized and happy when you actually hit the stage, your audience will reflect those same feelings too. Speaking of borrowing from some athlete techniques, my third tip for you is to get someone to record your set and review them after the show. Now, I'm a huge hockey fan, and I've noticed that during the NHL games, the players and coaches are constantly using an iPad to review the footage on the bench. They're analyzing their plays and making improvements on the go. As a live performer, you should be constantly reviewing and tweaking your set too. If you have a generous friend or a crew member watching your set, ask them if they'll film it for you on their phone so you can review your performance later. Take notice of what you did well and what you can improve on so you can be even just 1% better when you next play live. One thing I've noticed when reviewing the footage from musicians I've worked with is that they needed to work on their talking points between songs. And that brings us to tip number four, which is to have a short intro story prepared for all of your songs. I was watching a gig recently Recently, where the singer on stage introduced every single song with a short story about how it came to be. The stories were only around 30 seconds long, but they made the listening experience so much better. As an audience, we were already connected to each song before it even began. It made the performance really memorable. A huge part of having good stage presence is keeping the crowd engaged in between your songs during those silent moments. These parts of your set should be rehearsed and tweaked just like you do your actual songs. Tip number five for performing live is to decorate your stage. Visuals are important when you're performing. Not only does it make your set more interesting to watch, but it shows the crowd that you're a professional band and not just amateurs. You can find cool visual elements to add at lots of different price points. You can start by just wrapping some Christmas lights around your mic stand or adding some nice flowers and props from the dollar store. If you want to step it up a bit, you can invest in a banner with your band name on it. I was watching the band Fleece play recently and I was really amazed at their lighting setup. They had this panel of lights that would flash to the beat of the music and change colors. Their music was really good, but the lights took it to a whole new level. And my final tip for improving your live performance is to give your audience a call to action. 
A call to action is the next step you want the audience to take after the show ends. This means letting them know they could buy some merch and telling them how to connect with you afterwards. At some point during your set, you should mention where your merch stand is, what time you'll be there after the show, and what you have to offer. Merch is a huge income stream for musicians, so it's a must that you mention it. It's also a good idea to let people know how they can connect with you online and what your social media handles are. Let them know what's coming up from you in the near future, like a new single release, so they have an incentive to follow you. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more tips like this, I send out a weekly email called Tunes Letter, where I curate the best recommendations of the week for DIY musicians and bands. If you want your first issue sent to you this Sunday, you can enter your email at publicify.com slash tunes dash letter. Subscribe to this channel for more videos coming up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!